Hello. Greetings, Royals. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hello, hello, hello. Greetings to you all, Royals. How are you? Happy Friday. Happy Gratitude Friday, Royals. You are welcome to an inspiration for you recap. This is Rati Shalom. We are live. We are live and ready for today's inspirations. Hello, hello. How are the Royals doing today? It's yet another beautiful Friday, Royals. Friday for more inspirations. Okay, so we're getting ready. Hello, hello, hello. Greetings to you all, Royals. How are you doing today? You are welcome to an Inspiration for You recap with me, Rati Shalom. We are live and ready, ready for today's inspirations. We are ready for the recap. We are ready, we are ready. Hope you are all doing great, Royals. Hope you are winning. Hope you have been taking charge and you all know it's a glorious week, you know, and we are ready. Let me just go to the inspirations. Okay, so let's look at the inspirations. All right, so something happened last week, Friday, Royals. Um, it was on Saturday, not even Friday. Yeah, because we couldn't come live on Friday. So we had to come in on um, Saturday. And we came at around 3 or so, past 3, it was even later. And then guess what? We got even cut off. So we didn't even finish the, the inspiration. So we were doing the Thursday one. We were doing the Thursday one and then to round up. So now I'm just going to quickly read the Thursday one, you know, then just read out the Friday gratitude so that we don't miss out. All right, so let's look at the inspirations for for Friday, for, for Thursday, rather. I will be very, very fast, Royals. So once again, you're welcome to an inspiration for you recap with me, right to Shalom. So for those that are listening to the podcast, you're all welcome. And for those that are participating on the live on Facebook and Instagram, you're also welcome. And kindly take note that our videos will be available on our YouTube channel at Fountain Insights TV. You can always visit our YouTube channel anytime and watch the videos. Not only watch, subscribe, share, and like. All right, so... Let's just look at the inspirations quickly. I will try to be very fast. I don't have much time to be here today. All right, so let's look at the Thursday one because we were doing the Thursday one and then we got cut off. We spoke about uh, rejection. Now, let me just quickly take it. Matthew 9, verse 37 to 38 reads, Then saith he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. That was the inspiration for Thursday, right? And then it says, you are finding challenging to pick up your phone and make that call to go out and talk to someone about Jesus, about your business or about that special event that you know when that person attends, their lives will change. Now, because you don't want to be rejected, you step back, okay? Then it says, work regardless says work regardless then it says you feel scared to start the project that god instructed you to start but you deeply know that when you introduce it to the society city nation and nations there will be light 
all because you fear being rejected and then the hashtag says be bold now let's look at and this, this continue if you are moved with compassion to do the work that you are called to do it doesn't matter who says no to you the work must still be done by you among the few laborers that um the lord jesus mentioned to you all that is why it says sorry let me take that again if you are moved with compassion to do the work that you're called to do it doesn't matter who says no to you okay the work must still be done by you and then it says be among the few laborers that lord jesus mentioned well that is why he said you should pray so that the right people may be sent to you then it says you need to pray and then it says you need to pray and then now let's take also you can't run the vision empty spiritually it takes prayer to be accepted by the right people that god can change through you so pray for the people and also pray for those um pray for yourself to be confident bold and courageous and to stand no matter the challenges you may face as you carry the work right and then it says do the work with boldness so now that we we spoke about rejection that you know when you are scared to be rejected and then you don't do the work that you need to do you know then there the, 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 the will be a challenge that way so that means you shouldn't be scared now the inspiration says rejection shouldn't be the reason why you can't push the vision that god gave you really you can't avoid the feeling of being rejected but you can choose to be confident to, i mean to stand and build your confidence in god to carry on with the work regardless all right so let me try to also use this one here so that means we need to continue with the work you need to do the work regardless of being rejected right so you shouldn't be scared to be rejected rather you have to do what you need to do right and also one thing that we said you must understand is that we do not own people you do not own anybody therefore you don't have a right to force anybody to do anything but you pray to god that god grants you the grace to be accepted by people for whatever i mean with whatever that you do whether it's uh, your vision your your calling your ministry you know your job your business whatever that you do you pray that god grant you the grace to be accepted to be heard you don't force people and if it, it happens that they say no to you it's still okay okay you will go to the people that are connected to you right so we should understand the power of doing what we need to do regardless of rejections now let's look at the friday one quickly i'm trying to be gratitude breaks any kind of limitation right it empowers and encourages you to to achieve more in life and to notice your wins constantly more than failures be grateful to god it says gratitude breaks any kind of limitations so when you show your gratitude to your heavenly father you are basically saying you know what there are no limitations for me now have you ever done something you always feared to do and once you have done it you realize ah oh, man there was absolutely nothing to fear at all this is the this is doable right and it's easy that's exactly what gratitude to god does to you royal it breaks limitations and eliminates the fear of achieving your goals and taking bold steps of faith in doing great things okay and then it says through gratitude you constantly win and get en energized right it excites you and makes you look forward to doing more without thinking of what if it fails so gratitude uh, gr uh, gratitude to god programs you to a winning mentality and then let's continue be grateful to god for taking that big move of starting that project and doing something you have never done and watch yourself do greater things because limitations have been broken you have won what are you grateful to god for this week real count your blessings and thank god okay so that was thursday and friday for last week so I, that's why i didn't even have to upload the video because i felt okay we needed to round up on that because you know we got cut off there was a cut off and so on so we couldn't finish so now i just thought let me just quickly go to that thursday and friday we round up so that means we need to be grateful to god you know 
at all times and grassroots breaks limitations and also you notice that there are things that you're scared to do you start doing them and you you see oh i'm making it i'm doing it and you're like oh man there's absolutely absolutely nothing to fear on this thing you know so that is the power of us doing what we need to do so now let's look at the inspirations for this week so today is friday and we are going to be looking at the inspirations for this week all of them now we borrowed like eight minutes for the last Thursday and Friday. So now let's look at the inspirations for this week. Now we are back on track. All right. When God speaks blessings upon your life, they don't expire. Right? So don't overlook what has been said to you. Okay. And then it says, what it says, don't overlook what has been said to you. He is God of his word. Write what he told you and watch it come to pass right before your eyes. Faith is all you need. So that means every blessing that was ever spoken into love, that's what the inspiration is saying. Say it will come to pass. Whether you you like it or not, as long as you have faith, it will come to pass. Now let's read what the inspiration is saying. Numbers 23:19 it reads God is not a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he should repent hath he said and shall he not do it or hath he spoken and shall he not make it good so that means God is not a man that he should lie when he tells you something when he promises you something he fulfills it right every word of blessing that was spoken into your life whether a long time ago a few days ago yesterday and that or that is said today as a prophecy or a prayer for you or your declarations as per God's word. The ones you remember and the ones you don't, as long as it is God's word, it will come to pass. So the question is, do you believe it? Right. Then it says, he is God of his word. When he speaks, he watches over what he says and he makes sure that he brings it, excuse me, to manifestation. So don't confuse him with any man who speaks and doesn't fulfill his promises so god does fulfill his promises when he says this thing is yes for you it is a yes when he says i have blessed you he has blessed you right and when he speaks blessings into your life you need to be conscious of those blessings that god has spoken into your life through you know it could be in church it could be prayers your declarations and so on or god will minister to you in a special way you need to make sure that you take serious all the words that he says write down what he said and what he says to you and play your part in using your faith to access your blessing so that means there has to be something that you do royal that is putting your faith to work for you to receive those blessings for you to access your blessings so do you believe do you believe right so you need faith so let's look at the tuesday one quickly the only way for you to see the picture of the puzzle of your life is to start picking one piece at a time and join it together with another until it all comes out exactly like the original picture that is in your mind. So what is the picture that is in your mind? So there are pieces of puzzles in life in your life. So what you need to do every single day is to pick a piece by piece. That means every single day there ought to be something that you learn. Every single day there ought to be something that you observe, you notice, you know, and you, you, you begin to change it if you have to change it or you learn from it and so on. So that means you need to be, to look at your life like that puzzle. Now there's a picture, there's the original picture. You know, when you go to the shops, you buy puzzle uh, boxes, they obviously come with a picture and their pieces inside. You have to, uh, uh, unre I mean, open them and you start making use of the puzzle using the picture that you, you are given, right? So same applies with your life. We have a picture in our minds. What kind of a picture do you have concerning your life? So that original picture that you see in your mind, that you have in your thought, is the same picture that will come out of your puzzle. So that's why with the Holy Sela, it's very important for you to think right. It's very important for you to be conscious of what you say, what you think, and how you think of it. So what kind of a picture do you have in your life? What kind of a love do you want? What kind of, what do you want? Right, says all those, says the only way you, you can, so the only way for you to see the picture of the puzzle of your life is to start picking one piece at a time. So there has to be something that you learn each and every single day, picking piece by piece. Now, Genesis 11.5, uh, is it 11.5.6? The Lord says, if as one people speaking the same language, they have begun to do this, then nothing 
they plan to do would be impossible for them now this was god talking and then he had to you know those were the people that were building the tower they were so determined so ready to build that tower to get they said let us let us build ourselves a a a, a tower that can take us to heaven because we want to also reach there right so now they wanted to have something for themselves so now they agreed they were speaking the same language they were in the same language same mind same spirit same energy everything was the same they agreed that they are going to build and guess what they built they were building and they were going and then auntie god was like let me go and see what these people are doing when he looked he was like man these people they are one if they continue they can even get to me so now let me cause like a confusion in their language that's when you know they, they they had different kinds of languages they couldn't understand each other you know so there's no they, they couldn't finish the project that they determined themselves that they know what we are going to do it so what is the point of this thing that anything that you set your mind to do anything that you put your mind to do you say you know what i'm going to do this thing you say you to yourself that you know what i must achieve it you will achieve it you will achieve it at this point god himself had to come and stop the people from building a tower that they were determined to build to reach heaven because they had already purposed in their hearts that they would do it and because they spoke the same language in the agreement they understood what they wanted and they were in one mind and one energy so that is in the uh, uh genesis chapter um 11 you can read the war genesis chapter 11 to get that right that's to tell you how powerful your mind is real what picture of the puzzle of your life do you see or have what have you done with it so what do you see what kind of a picture do you see for your life for yourself what you see is what you will get right so how do you see your life so all that matters now let's look at proverbs um 23 7 for as he thinketh in his heart so is he eat and drink said he to thee but his heart is not with thee. so he say, says um for as the man thinketh in his heart so is he so what do you think of what are your thoughts like what picture do you see concerning your life do you see yourself failing in a project do you see yourself making it do you see yourself achieving in life or you see yourself failing what kind of a picture do you see are you seeing an influential person in you or you're just seeing an ordinary person who doesn't have a direction without a purpose what do you see what you see is what you get with your life so don't expect another person to come and tell you you know what i see you succeeding i say if you cannot see yourself successful if you cannot see yourself achieving then don't expect another person to see you that way and think it will come because it has to says what what for as the man thinketh in his heart so is he so it has to start with what you think right your life is a puzzle that needs you your focus time energy faith determination consistency language and courage for you to keep working on it otherwise everyone has a puzzle to work on don't expect another person to leave their theirs and come help you with yours okay you are responsible for your life so don't expect another person to come and tell you, you know what let me help you with your life let me help your life should be like this i can help you you know you are responsible for that in your case the people mentioned in Genesis chapter 11 it's your mind your faith your body your language and the person of the holy spirit together as a team you can build your life work on work as it says what work as one team that's what the hashtag says so now at this point when we talk about you the people is your mind your focus you know your body and of course the language the kind of words that you speak for yourself what kind of words come out of your mouth you know all that matters and then it says and the person of the holy spirit you have if you work as a team if you believe in god you have faith you trust god for your life and you speak right you declare you confess that you know what i am moving forward i am successful i'm making it i'm making progress my future is bright this is what i want with my life then you get that so it has to be very important how you think what you say and how you say it because there are people who don't mind to say you know what um I, 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 i'm so i'm so weak i'm so you know frustrated i'm like this they say all kinds of negative words or I, I, i'm a failure i won't make it i don't think i can make it i'm cursed 
how can you speak like that? I was even surprised, like my daughter was telling me from school that one of the child, you, you see, these are the kind of things that, it starts from home, it says charity begins at home. You know, imagine a child is telling other children that I'm cursed, I'm cursed, I'm going to touch you, so I touch you, you take my case. Like everyone is running around the whole school like, oh, this one is cursed, it's giving me her case. You know, that's already the wrong mindset, the wrong way of teaching the child. Child, So that's why you also need to be conscious of the kind of words that we speak to our children, what we teach them and how we teach them. Because imagine speaking like that. Imagine when she grows up and she has that in her mind that I'm cursed. Wherever I go, when I touch people, that's why you see people getting possessed, doing all kinds of evil. So you have to be careful what you say. So now let's look at another inspiration. Uh, that's the Tuesday one, right? Is it the Tuesday or Wednesday one? Let's see. I'm not sure which one is this one. Let's look. Now we are on Wednesday. Okay, I'm not understanding what's going on here. Okay, there should be something missing. When God speaks blessing, Monday. Okay, where are we? I'm trying to get to where we are. You have everything you need to begin your uh, a new journey. And that is you, Royal. Let's look at it. You have everything you need to begin a new journey and that is you royal resources will come when they see a need to come to you do you have proof that you you can use uh, sorry let me take it again you have everything you need to begin a new journey and that is you royal okay and then it says resources will come when they see a need to come to you do you have proof that you can use to convince Mr. Resources that you are ready for the new work. Do you have proof? Let's read what the inspiration is saying. Exodus chapter 4 verse 2. Then the Lord said to him, what is that in your hand? A staff, he replied. That was Moses. So God was asking Moses, he said, okay, what do you have in your hands, Moses? Then he said, a staff. So that means that he you know he wanted him to see what he has right and then he says when god asks you the same question now will you be able to answer boldly like moses it says when god asks you the same question now will you be able to answer boldly like moses what if i tell you that someone wants to sponsor your vision now the question is do you have something to put on the table as proof that you are ready for it so now that means you need to be ready you need to be ready so are you ready what is on the table for you are you ready for it right so let's see quickly i'm not sure what's going on here listen royal if you want to play the game of life well this is very well and we start by using you yes i mean you all because it says you're all because that is all you have now everything that was created by god has intelligence including the resources you want to are you ready for them so the question is are you ready for the resources are you ready for what you want so now god asked moses says moses what do you have in your hand and then he replied quickly said a staff so now when god has to when God comes to you and asks you, okay, righty, what do you have in your hands? You say you want to do this, you want to succeed in this area. What do you have in your hands? What have you done? What do you have with you now so that I can help you? You know, you, will you be able to answer? Will I be able to answer? Say, you know what, God, I think I, I've done this. This is what I've put together. So far, this is where I am. At this point, I want to reach this particular place. Now, can I ask you, an honest question let's say you want to marry now will you accept a person who is not responsible let's say you are you are a resource will you go to someone who won't care about you who will misuse or treat you anyhow you can answer yourself 
right so this is just like a general question like okay just for an example so to make you think to see how serious this thing is right the point is you have to be ready for the resources you have been praying for royal and for god to see that you are ready he will ask about what you have in your hands as proof that you are ready so god will ask what do you have in your hands okay you're saying you want to achieve this you want to do this but what do you have in your hands what have you done with what you have in your hands right your maturity in handling resources will be measured by how responsible you are with the little you have now if you can't change now prepare now or use what you have now unfortunately you won't be able to handle bigger resources so if you cannot handle the little that you have or you can't make use of what you have now then how will you how can you pray for bigger resources and expect that god will just let them flow on you and you're not ready for them so that means you need to mature for every resource that you want that you're looking for right so you have to prepare yourself let's quickly see something i feel like we're missing something here i think i missed something okay yes that was the man this is the monday one so we took the tuesday wednesday thursday so let me let me show you let me read the monday one it says and it says if you have been wondering what god looks like go and look at yourself in the mirror royal you will see how he looks in you because he created what you see um in that mirror so it says what okay let me start it if you have been wondering what god looks like Go and look at yourself in your mirror, royal. You will see how he looks in you because he created what you see in that mirror in your likeness. That alone should build confidence in you. So that means you are created in the likeness of God. So what you see on the mirror is what God created, is how God looks like. If you have been asking yourself, I wonder how God looks like, I wonder if this, I wonder if that. <laughs> if you look at yourself, you look exactly like God. God says, let us make men in our own image. You are created like God. So now let's take it quickly as we get ready to round up on Gratitude Friday. I try to be very fast today because I'm also looking at the network. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 to 28. And God say, let us make men in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fall of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created men in his own image. In the image of God, he created he, him male and female created he them so that means you are created in the image of god you are like god look at yourself on the mirror as you look at yourself as in the mirror you look exactly like your heavenly father so that alone should build confidence in you you know you should be bold about you should be confident with yourself you know you look at yourself and like you know what this is the beauty of god i'm confident that alone should build like that confidence in you with everything that you're doing you should be bold and be confident because God is what you see in you, right? This should be enough for reason for you to be confident, Royal, because everything that you see in you is exactly the replication of God, right? Where did you read in your Bible that God tried to introduce an idea or tried to create something many times and failed because before he later got it right now imagine the beauty of the universe that was created by god and he then says to you you are like him so where in the bible have you read that god did this and he failed change the way you see yourself god never failed when he created god never failed when he created you and every other thing therefore you also can't fail to build your business your company your family your ministry your finances your career that organization etc have an excellent mindset like like your heavenly father who created you excellently okay so you have an ex be excellent like your heavenly father look at the universe look how beautiful planets are look how beautiful the world is look how beautiful creatures are look how beautiful everything that god created look how beautiful human beings are he created them in in his likeness and he created every beautiful thing that you see in this world for us and then he said we are like him there's no one thing that you say ah oh, this one failed everything came out very well 
He was excellent in everything that he ever created. He came, he came out beautiful. Everything that God made, it came out beautiful. Then he says, I have created you in my likeness. So that means you also, in everything that you do, you ought to succeed. God didn't fail. Therefore, your business shouldn't fail. You fail. Your life shouldn't fail. You shouldn't fail in what you do. Every project that you involve yourself in shouldn't fail. Why? Because you are like your heavenly father who succeeded in everything that he created. So that means you also cannot fail. And you, you shouldn't even think of failing because you are like your heavenly father. Okay, so that is the inspiration for Monday Royal. Let's look at Friday because I, I noticed that we did skip something. Now let's look at Friday. Today's Friday and we are on Gratitude Friday. I hope we learned so much on this week's inspirations because I think they're all about the blessings of God, talking about us, I mean, how we should be conscious of the blessings of God in our lives and how we should also be aware of what we carry, you know. And not only that, we also should be confident of ourselves, knowing that we are created in his image, in his likeness, right? So let's look at the Friday one as we round up. Gratitude creates an atmosphere of love, peace, joy, and blessings. Well, be grateful to God always and enjoy the unending streams of more blessings. So you being grateful to God, it creates an atmosphere of love, peace, and joy. Are you grateful to God? Or you are that kind of person who's ever murmuring, complaining, crying, shouting, and all kind of things, like, you know, thinking, ah, oh, man, nothing is happening here. Nothing is interesting here. You know, by doing that, you are already, you know, steering up negativity around you, you know. So that means you need to learn to be grateful to God with all your heart, wholeheartedly, right? Wholeheartedly. It says, gratitude creates an atmosphere of love, peace, joy, and blessings. Right? Be grateful to God always and enjoy the unending streams of, of more blessings. So that means you being grateful to God, what does it do? It opens up more doors of blessings. You will be happy. You know when you are grateful to God, you're like, oh God, I thank you for my life. I thank you for this. You are just showing gratitude to your heavenly father. You will see you will be happy, joyful, and peace. You will enjoy life because you are grateful. But look at somebody who's who's like, who, who has got something in them, like whatever, you know, somehow. You will see they're not happy. You are not a grateful person. You need to learn to be grateful to God. You know, in that way, you will not find yourself angry at all times for nothing. You, you honestly do not need to be angry over nothing. You know, you just, people are greeting you, they're excited, they're talking to you. Um, like some, hi, how are you? Ah, everybody's trying to have, have a conversation with you. Hello, how are you? You know, what kind of life is that? People want to talk to you, you know, all those kind of things. But when you are a grateful person, you love, you appreciate God. You are grateful for everything, every event, every situation. You're like, God, I thank you for this. All things, those that are, are hating you are negative. All things are working together for my good. Lord, I thank you because this is working together for my good. The good ones, Lord, I thank you for the blessings. Oh, I'm so super excited. I'm ready. By doing that, you, you create an atmosphere of blessings, of love. You enjoy your life. You will find things easy, you know, but when you become complicated, you also complicate things in your life. So be grateful to God. Live in the atmosphere of gratitude and enjoy God's blessings. Don't you see, don't you see how God has, uh, has been blessing you? Don't you see how he has been showing up for you every time you needed him? Don't you see it real? Is it a lie? Look at yourself. Then says, be grateful to God. At this point, your mood of gratitude matters the most because as you show how grateful you are to God, you saturate the atmosphere with love, peace, joy, and more unending streams of blessings. So you being grateful to God, showing gratitude to, to your heavenly father, thanking God for every blessing, for every situation, for everything. And you see good in everything. Then you are creating an atmosphere of love, of peace, of joy, of happiness. You know, you, you become joyous. And in that way, you will see blessings will be flowing. You know, it's important to be grateful to God. Move out from negative thinking, depression, stress, anxiety, sorrow, whatever you want to call it. That's what the inspiration says. It says move out. So move out of depression. You need to move out. You have been in depression for a long time. Move out of depression. Move out of anxiety. Move out of sorrow. 
You have been in sorrow for a long time. It is breaking your heart. Why are you in sorrow? Move out of there. You know, it says move out. It says move out of from negative thinking. You think negative. Why are you always thinking that you fail? Why are you always thinking that you can't make it? Why are you always thinking that you will not do well? Why are you always thinking that ah you are unprivileged? People don't love you. You are you're not fair. Why would you think that that? But you need to think, you know, in a in in a good way and be grateful to God by so doing. You build an atmosphere of love, of joy, of peace and happiness. You have to be grateful to God, Drill. Okay, then it says there's peace in the Lord when you express your gratitude. So that means when we show our grat our gratitude to our Heavenly Father, there's peace. So be joyful. It's gratitude Friday. What are you grateful to God for this week? Your gratitude will create an atmosphere of blessings and saturate your environment with joy and speakable glory to God. So it says that what are you grateful to God for this week? Your gratitude will create an atmosphere of blessings and saturate your environment with joy and unspeakable. So you being grateful to God will saturate your environment. It will saturate your environment with so much blessings. The atmosphere will be joyful, lovely. People can come into or if you're not a grateful person, attracts people, good people. You know, so you need to learn to be grateful to God. People will come to you because they see that, oh man, this one has a good heart. This one is like this. So imagine you don't even get yeah, ever, um, you know, that's not how life is supposed to be. So be happy. Be grateful to God. Accept, you know, God's blessings by showing gratitude. Be grateful to God at all times, Royal. Be happy. Be happy. If there's one thing you should get today from all the inspirations, you know, because I see we have we were a little bit scattered because we started off uh, from last week ones. But the point is, at least take this one. Be happy. Be grateful to God. Show gratitude to your heavenly Father and appreciate God for everything that He's doing in your life. Be happy. Be joyful. Saturate your environment with joy, love, peace, and gratitude to your heavenly Father. All right. So that is all for today's inspirations royal i hope we learned so much from the inspirations for this week please kindly note we had to take the one for the thursday one and the friday one for last week so as i upload the videos on the youtube channel i'm going to put two of them at once so that they can all you know have that link on each uh, link up on each other all right so apart from that i would like to lead somebody to Christ. If you're watching me right now and you're not born again, you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ at all, you know, I would like you to say this prayer after me and mean it with all your heart so that you can give your love to Christ. And you know what? It would be beautiful just to, I mean, for God to watch you enjoy your life in Him. All right. So I'd like you to say this prayer. Say, Oh Lord God, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says, Whosoever shall call, on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Right now, I ask Jesus to come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. I receive eternal life into my spirit right now. I declare that I'm saved. I'm born again. I'm a new creation in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Father, for saving me. I'm born again from this day. Thank you for the remission of sins into my spirit right now. I am a new creation from this day in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, congratulations, Royal. If you have said this prayer, you are now born again. You know what? Text us whether you want me to say DM us, email us, however you want to contact us. Let us know about you, you know, being born again. Then we can send you some books to read, articles that can help you, and daily devotions that can help you on your journey of faith now that you're born again. And not only that, please can you also do go to church, look at a church, go to church so you can grow there, right? Now, that is all for today on an inspiration for you. It was very quick and simple today, right? But I hope we learned so much on the inspirations for you. Now, before we close, we, if you go to our YouTube channel, like I think I once posted that we are going to be having an inspiration for you on the table talk royal, right? So we have already introduced an inspiration for you on the table talk. So if you go to our YouTube channel, you can watch the on the table talk, um, introduction on, you know, about 
an inspiration for you on the table talk what we're going to be all about and there's a lot that we're going to be discussing on that segment of on, uh, I mean, of the talk, you know, because, you know, we have an inspiration for you daily articles. We have an inspiration for you recap. Now we have an inspiration for you on the table talk. And those are special, you know, babies that we have been working on so that we can help other people. And apart from that, you know, of course, we are going to be having personal development programs. We also have public health counseling and we also have growth mindset trainings where you can learn a lot about that so those things we are going to tell you about them and how to participate in them how to go about it and so on everything will be you know uh, uh, um, you'll be informed that's what I want to say you'll be informed about it so for now please kindly go to our YouTube channel Fountain Insights TV subscribe like share the channel so that you can watch many videos from us and also join us on Sundays at Fountain Insights Church on our platform we are also available on Sundays by 3 p.m. we share the word of God there and you know what you will definitely be blessed kind of go to the channel and scroll there are so many messages that you can listen to there are so many recaps that you can listen to that can also help you so that you can grow go. so that is all for today royals i love you also dearly you know enjoy your weekend have fun put a smile on yourself like a real person that you are okay so when i say enjoy yourself i'm saying in christ okay don't go out and say we have to enjoy ourselves and then the next thing you're drinking there you're drinking there no you enjoy yourself in christ and on sunday don't forget to go to church all right it's very important for us to go to church because that's how we grow that's where we learn the word and guess what we grow and grow higher and higher every single day i love you also dearly royals enjoy your beautiful weekend this is Rati shalom i love you also dearly see you again next friday same time 7 p.m for another an inspiration for you recap not only that please kindly go to our podcast as well an inspiration for you podcast on spotify you can listen to the podcast i know some are going to be listening to the podcast all right that is all for today i love you also dearly let's go and you know i have so many things to cut off <laughs>